Hello. Happy Feb February. Happy February. Happy Feb, guys. Happy Feb. Um, so I've been thinking about this Soul Cycle Challenge. You know, shorter month, bigger goals, and what I really wanted to invest in this month. And it's funny, it kind of came to me organically, and I had a epiphany a couple nights ago. Um, sorry, it's February 2nd, but I'm doing the best I can. So the other night I was having dinner with two of my girlfriends, and, um, and also writers, post-class. And I'm about 10 years older than both of them. Yep. 10. So I... I was sitting there and we started I started asking them questions about their future and where they were going and what they were doing with their life and how things were going right now how New York was what they were thinking all sorts of things like that and as they started to answer me what I really began to notice and hear was just a lot of negativity a lot of negative talk directed specifically at themselves not anyone else around them but specifically about what they didn't have yet, where, why they weren't yet where they wanted to be, why they couldn't get there, why they weren't gonna get there, why they weren't capable, why they didn't have the tools, why all these, all these things. And I really wanted to make a point to them. So I read something luckily that day, Tracy McMillan, my friend and guru, had posted something on her um, Instagram. And the quote that she posted was, Imagine if we obsessed about the things that we loved about ourselves. Imagine if we obsessed about the things that we loved about ourselves. Not the negative, the things that we loved. And to really make this point, I wanted to give them an example of two ways to view your day. Like, so I was gonna tell them about my day with two different perspectives. And the two different perspectives are negativity and positivity. You thought it was gonna be cooler than that, didn't you? But here's the deal, it's really simple. That's the thing. It's simple, it's basic. So I described my day for them and I'm gonna do it for you now. Negative. Woke up for a 7 a.m. Soul Psycho class. I was really, really tired. Um, I felt like the second song I chose was really boring and I kind of let them down and I should have picked a better song. Um, although we picked it up in the end and it was fine. Uh, I then went to the Today Show. My neighbor and friend was doing a segment and I was going to be one of her models and it wasn't really exactly how I envisioned my first time on the Today Show. It was about Britney and I was there as a model and I was slightly embarrassed of myself and where I was in my life. And then I took too long of a nap. I napped for about an hour and a half and I probably could have done a million other things. Um, and then I got up taught two more classes and then instead of cleaning my kitchen like I probably should have, I went to drinks and dinner with two of my friends. Negative. Positive perspective. So now I'm gonna spin it. This is how my day actually went. I got up. I went to a 7 a.m. Soul Cycle class. It wasn't the perfect playlist, but it was a great playlist and I got to ride with some rock star writers and somebody came up to me afterwards and said to me, you have great energy. I was inspired, thank you. Then I made it to the Today Show. I was on the Today Show, what? That's awesome. And I got to support my incredibly talented and amazing neighbor and friend and watch her shine, which was awesome. And she said she really appreciated me being there to support her. Then I was lucky enough that I got to nap for a solid hour and a half. I got to nap. My body got to rest and recover. And I got to really prepare myself for the rest of my day in my two other classes. Taught two other badass classes. Then, instead of obsessing about some sort of perfect kitchen or perfect life and what I should and shouldn't be doing, I took some time. And I went and I sat with two of my friends and I felt really heard. And in addition to that, I feel really inspired. There's our two options. That's how we look at them. And when I looked at the girls, I really realized that this was not a lesson for them. This was actually a lesson and an incredible learning experience for myself. So often, I think that I focus more on the negative than the positive. It feels really difficult and strange for some reason to highlight the things that I think that I'm, I'm proud of, that I um, have contributed, that, that people really respect, to notice compliments, to say thank you, and not just discard them. So. In that moment, 
I looked at these two incredible women that I wanted to highlight and I wanted them to see how beautiful and strong and amazing they were, are, I realized that I needed to do that as well. So for 28 days, I challenged them. I challenged them to sit down at the end of each day or the beginning of the next and either write it down or just take a mental note of three things, three things that you're really proud of, three things that you're proud of. Note any compliments that are given to you and really, really pay attention to those things. If you're focusing on something negative, if you're ruminating on something negative, take that and see if there's a way you can spin it. Is there any way you can spin that to see something positive or a lesson or a way to just walk away from it? That's what I want to challenge you guys to do. Three things, 28 days, that's it. And I'm going to leave you on one more thing. Tracy was talking about the compliments in her post, the compliments that we received. She suggested that we all make a list of all the good things anyone has ever, ever, ever said about us. Write them all down, take a look at them. She said, once you start doing that, then you can start to find ways to give those things away today. Your view of the world will change, and even more importantly, you will actually start to change the world. See what we can do.